Hi guys, in this video we will go through the 5 type of questions which are coming in the reading comprehension. Alright, so in quant we it's easy to fi find out what are the kind of questions which are there, fine, which will help me identify what I know and what I don't know in the quant section. But in verbal section we don't care about all these things, fine. So in this video we will talk about how to do that so that I, it can help me improve my verbal ability. At number 5 we have the most common type of question which is talking about the details of a particular topic. Fine. For example the question might look like the role of the second paragraph is what? Why author mentioned life cycle at the end of the paragraph? So something like this. So how to crack it? We need to have the specific details about the particular part of the paragraph. Scope and idea should be clear. You should understand what the paragraph is talking about. And we need to reread the statements, paragraphs to understand the details. Fine. This is the most common type of question. 30% of the question is going to be based on details. At number 4 we have the outsiders. Question where the options are not related to the topic at all. For example which option is logically similar to the paragraph given to you. Passage can be summarized by which of the following idioms. What can be used to replace this word. So the options are not going to be a part of the paragraph which will make it very tricky to understand and solve the questions. So how to crack them? They talk about the new idea. We have to understand this idea and similarly find out a new idea which says. So my deduction skills, my logical skills have to be very good. Number three, I have to understand the paragraph very nicely. So almost 10% of the questions are going to be based on outsiders. Okay, number three is inference. That's the most common type of question again, very common. So Pathe uses, uses dash to imply what? Which of the following can be inferred from the paragraph? Why does the author mean by this? So these are the kind of question typically you will see in the inference type of question. The sentence this confirms that what happens. Fine, so that's number three is inference. You have to understand the implied meaning. You have to read between the lines to understand this. Students have the most lowest accuracy in this topic. 20% of the question are going to be based on inference. Right. At number two is tone of the passage. Again, a very, very common question. How to crack it? You understand, you need to understand the author's viewpoint. You need to have the inference of the topic as well. And you need to look at the emotional words, whether the author's tone is very acerbic or author is very mellow down, is he uh, bragging about the things. So you need to understand all those things. And the question might look like author is most likely to agree with what? Author, author is most la, 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 likely to support what? Along with the tone of the passage as well. Yeah, at number two, tone, tone of the passage. 10% of the question will be this. At number one is TMS, which is topic, main idea and the scope of the passage. Fine, this is the main thing which you understand. So key facts about this thing is the most common type of question. You will see one of them question in almost every paragraph. Every time to solve is 2.5 minutes. That's where the main concern is to get good accuracy. But and we need to practice a lot on these topics. Topic, main idea and the sports scope. How to crack it? You have to prepare the roadmap. I'll cover up the roadmap in another video. Use options extensively. Whichever option out of scope, remove that. So again, we'll do, do this in some time in another video. Think of the author. Think from the author's point of view, that's very, very important to crack this topic. Okay. And again, almost 10% of the questions are going to be there on TMS. So which of the following best summarizes the passage, illustrate the passage, highlight of the passage. These are typical kind of questions which we'll see here. Main idea. So 20% of the question is again on TMS. All right, so these are the five type of questions which are coming in the exam. So what do you need to do now is you need to work on your accuracy point of view. You need to now bucket out all the things into these five type details, outsiders, inference based question, tone based and TSM and check your accuracy. So what have you done RC in the past last few days, just go through them, bucket them into these five type. Maybe you can find few more types. So bracket them into six, seven, eight type of questions. Then look at what is your accuracy in which area. Now RC is not your weak. Within RC, these are the particular areas where you might weak at. Maybe I'm weak in inference, I'm weak in tone, I'm weak in in uh, topic and main idea but I'm very good with the details and outsiders so that I can do a surgical strike of where I need improvement and where I don't need improvement. So please now subscribe to my video so that we can see the other videos on RC, Quant and Logic as well and in case you want to join us you can join us for the shortcut workshop in which we are going to cover up in details about the shortcuts and strategies for Quant Verbal Logic DI and you by calling this number you can join us for the classroom program or online program across India. Alright, thank you very much.